Happy day, children. Welcome back to our next video on lesson three, safety and first aid. In our first video, we learnt why do accidents occur and why safety is important. In this video, we will discuss in detail about fire accidents, the major causes of fire accidents, how to prevent fire accidents, and what are the safety measures to be followed in case of a fire. What? We need fire for cooking, but fire can destroy many things and kill people when it is out of our control. Fires occur in homes mainly due to carelessness while handling burn matchsticks, candles and firecrackers, electrical faults and accidents while cooking and gas leaks in the kitchen. Prevention of fire To prevent a fire, we have to follow simple safety rules. Electrical appliances must be checked regularly. We should not wear clothes made of synthetic fabrics in the kitchen because synthetic fabrics catch fire very easily. Wear cotton or woolen clothes. Make sure that the gas stove is switched off when not in use. If you can smell gas in the kitchen, then open all doors and windows and immediately call the gas agency for help. Do not turn electrical switches on or off since this may cause a spark leading to fire. After using a matchstick, make sure that it is fully extinguished before throwing it away. Never throw off burnt objects. Store kerosene in airtight cans away from fire and heat. Never light firecrackers by yourself. Even adults should be very careful by lighting them, since some fireworks such as rockets are very dangerous. But how much ever you are careful when you deal with fire, sometimes fire accidents can occur. Even a small fire in the house can spread very fast and cause great damage. So, you must know what to do if you see a fire. Fire requires three things, oxygen, heat and fuel. So, if we cut any one of these three things, we can easily put off the fire. Most of the uh, equipments used for putting the fire cut off the supply of air to the fire. It is a fire extinguisher. It is a device used to put out fire. It is of various types. It contains chemicals that usually give out either carbon dioxide or some other gas or foam. The gas or foam surrounds the fire and puts it out by cutting off the supply of air. One. Now let's see how to put out a fire using a fire extinguisher in four simple steps using the pass method. First is pull the pin. This is the pin and you have to pull the pin. Then aim at the base of the fire, not at the top. Then you have to squeeze the lever as tight as possible. Then sweep side to side, not from top to bottom. So you can easily remember the pass method. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the lever, sweep side to side. If a person's clothes catch fire, then what will you do? We have to throw water on them to put out the fire. Sometimes water may not be available. Then in that case, we have to follow three simple steps. Stop where you are without running, drop to the ground and roll. This helps to cut off the supply of air to the fire. The most important rule to remember whenever there is an accident is to be calm. Call for help and until then try to do your best to help the injured person. So in our next video we will see some simple safety 
and first aid methods that can be given to a injured person before taking him to a hospital until then bye and thank you children